obviously I'm on the mower, but I had to go make pee pee. So I took a ride up a trail behind my big barn and look what I found. The people that live here fjorded a trail. There's a brook. See it? Anyhow, I rode the mower in here just to see where it went, but this thing's not made for off road and it's got turf tires and I'm getting stuck. So, let's crank this brother up. Oh, emergency brake. Crank her up! Hmm, lawnmower? No. Controls down. Okay, crank her up! Big rock! Whee! We're going sideways! Never been back here. How do you like that? I've owned this place almost 10 years and never came here. Never seen what's doing back here. Rubber. Now, somebody on YouTube asked me if I had a armrest for a 90 Chevy, and there it is, right there. I was going to email him pictures, but I forgot. Oh, nice door mechanism. Oh, yeah, mangled. This truck is junk. It's got weeds growing through the dash. That armrest is toast. Ignition lock, toast. Headliner, toast. What a piece of junk. Oh, nothing's getting better sitting out here, rotting away. Makes me crazy. All right, I got to go down my mower and get the mud off the tires. And cut the grass. It's getting tall, three feet high, one meter grass. Well, get her done. Look at this step bumper. Oh, that's a step bumper. Step bumper from hell. <laughs> All right, I'll get to work. Toro. I've been having problems with my Toro. I'm almost done cutting the grass. And every so often, the deck goes up in the air and I start dragging something. And I thought I was hitting a rock, but if I was hitting a rock, it would be banging against the blades, like the rock right over here. So, after doing this about ten times in the last half an hour, dragging something, I said, this is ridiculous. The deck goes up in the air. And I'm dragging something. And I just figured out what it is. This strut bar that holds the mowing deck in place is underneath the deck instead of the other one that's attached to my rear suspension. Hot. Yep. Strut bar tore off. I just greased it. See the strut bar it goes backwards. Bolt on right there. And this one is missing the bolt. Look at that. And the strut bar is underneath the deck. That's what's been dragging. And my idler spring is busted also. How do you like that? Huh. Very interesting. That just had its service last week. Idler spring. Huh. Oh well. <sighs> Guess I'll finish mowing. I'll strap that arm up for now. That's why the deck's been going crazy. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh. I don't know what happened, but 
something happened. Bolt fell off. Maybe. There it is. Nice swivel joint. And my idler. Spring. Busted. Oh man. Oh boy. And that grease fitting there wasn't even greased when I picked it up after it was serviced. Engine mount or something. Alright. Put a bungee cord on that, I suppose, till I go get a bolt at the hardware store. Toro! Toro! Tom! Jump! Fixed it. Double nut. Double nut. Double nut. New spring. Rocking horse spring. That's tough to put on. Gotta hold three things at once to grind the washer to fit. Alright, crank her up! No, not yet, just here. Okay, we'll crank her up. Chains, uh, baseball cap. Thank you. Ah, hello, Mr. Mug. You know, a nerdy, somewhat misguided. There's the spring. Looking to, you know, to be a little bit curious and looking for a thrill. Chuck. In, you know, the early 2000s. Uh, Monster fuse holder. For the green truck. Jumbo fuse holder. And away she goes. Whee! I'll take the big mower, she says, and I end up with a little peepee -pee M50. Baby size. Oh well. Guess it's better than using a sickle bar. See you later, alligator. I'm gonna go have an orange.